Back again with another Bradley Martin interview video. Interview video? No this questions. This is the, the first answer. one ever. First one ever. What's going on, guys? Bradley Martin, I'm answering all the important he questions. scared him. Of course I scared him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He tried to scare me. Bozo. Like, really? <laughs> really? It's yeah. done. You're good. Okay, perfect. We're setting a stream up here, by the way. We're setting a stream. Look. Fortnite? Look. See, look. Look, lobby, look. Look at my character. So we're setting a stream up. That's what these are for. Okay. We got the mic here. We got all kinds of stuff. We're ready to go. Yeah. So, so we got some qu we got some questions and answers, and the Go questions ahead. are for me actually. Okay. So I think uh, it'll be good. But the first question is, before we really get into it, you know, okay. warm up warm up question. Okay. If you had the choice to have the perfect body part, right? But like, okay. kind of like swapped out on your body. Would you rather Would you rather swap out for the best calves or the best triceps? triceps. Triceps. Why what triceps? What kind of calves, bro? You just wear, you wear, you know, joggers. You wear athletic pants. But you already have good arms, so what if you just, like, if you had really good calves, then you could wear shorts whenever you wanted during the summer. Short shorts, bro. You don't care about shorts? I, I mean, I wear shorts, but short shorts. Calves, smaths. So triceps. triceps, biceps, bro. So, that sounds okay, better. fine. What about triceps or like the, the forearm part right here where like Phil Heath has like that crazy, you know? Phil, he, come on, that's Phil Heath, bro. So would you rather have, that that? have tricep or that, that one thing? Ooh, tricep. Tricep? That's the bulk. Who, who looks at this, dude? What's that? No, who looks at that? Like, you know who looks at that? Body. Other dudes. Bodybuilders. Exactly. You know what? You know who looks at this? Dudes. But girls. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Nick, Nicky told us in a video interview. No. We did Culture Cast. She told us. She said no. she looks for guys because she's into working out. She looks for guys with big arms. I swear to God. She they, said that. She, they look at Most girls look at abs and like eh, biceps and chest. Whatever. Most girls look at your bank account. At least in LA. No, no, no not your bank account. Oh, they can't see it, hopefully. Yeah. So they don't have access to it. Yeah. So what they, do they look at? Oh, your car. And? Maybe your shoes, your watch. Your shoes, your watch. God, it's so bougie, bro. Whatever, dude. It's all good. But I would I'd pick the triceps because arm day is every day, baby. You already know that. Everyone knows that. So I got a handful more questions, man. Give me a really good question. Um, okay. Ask me about Fortnite. No, that's I don't care about Fortnite, okay. whatever. Okay. Uh I wanna know if you weren't Bradley Martin Online, as you know the YouTube name is, Bradley Martin Online. Okay. Who would okay. you be? I'd be Bradley Martin Offline. I'd be the same person I am today. I know, but what would you be doing? Like, what business would you be in? What career? Oh, okay. Would you be competing still? With bodybuilding? So, like, what trainer? would I be doing if, like, they, I didn't get internet popular, I guess is what you're saying. Yeah. Um, I, honestly, like, my goal or my, my plan before all this was, like, I was going to train people. My Like, initially, I thought, like, oh, I'm going to train celebrities. So, I was, like, you know, as I moved down here, I realized, like, oh, like, this is where all the celebrities live in L.A. I can, like, train this one and show them what I could do, show them, like, my capabilities and go to that one. And I figured, like, that's how I would build a business and I was going to open, like, a small training studio and just train people. That was my original goal. So, your goal was to be, like, the most a popular celebrity. trainer. Yeah. Yeah. Because I didn't, I didn't, this was not a, Instagram wasn't, a, it wasn't around. It wasn't, like, yeah. oh, I can go on Instagram and make a following and make stuff online and, and build a business, build a brand online. Just, it was still like I had to do this in person and be face to face with people, which I think is actually really important. Like to, I think a lot of people now they get into like uh, social media, trying to be like social media people, yeah. and they forget that like because you got to be like, a person first. Yeah, because everyone goes, well, how do you do it? Like, what's the thing, and what's the thing that I should do? And it's like I don't know what's important to you because you guys got to understand this, like. The same thing I would do in person, like me, Steve over there, or me to Kev, or have the conversations or the things that I would go through or talk about or like share with people like like, like this, Bradley Martin, in, in person, offline, like who I am here, is the same thing I put on the internet. Yeah, it might be a little bit more like extra or it might be a little bit more like, uh, I might do some crazy videos to get attention, but at the end of the day, when you make that real connection with people, that's the same thing you got to do in person that you got to figure out a way okay how can i also make that real connection with people that i'm able to do in person with people online and then to millions of people right but people get so caught up in like i just got to get a number and i'm going to be popular and then everyone's going to love me and it's like no like there's tons of girls who got tons of followers but it's like because they show their butt and it's not that guys don't like them people don't like them it's like it's a different type of value and there's nothing wrong with that it's still fine it's still good but my point is like if you're a person, guy or girl, it doesn't matter. You, you have to like have something that you actually care about and let that like fuel you as you're like trying to make posts on social media. Like what, what, what message are you trying to deliver to people? And, and I think wh whether or not like the internet was here or not, like I've always been that person where I'm like, I want to be a better person. I want to feel better about myself and who I am. And I like to see other people do the same thing. And that's all it is. And I just try and like 
spread that on the internet and, and you know like film a crazy video with the girl so I get more eyes and more attention on me and then deliver that message deliver that message over and over again the thing that matters to me so that's what's important is figuring out what matters to you like so yeah to answer your question Bradley Martin offline would be the same thing I would just try and like train people that, that was my only goal you know and then I was like maybe I get into acting which I'm still thinking about doing but I gotta like do more work I gotta take you know acting classes and stuff like that and gotta lean out bro gotta lean out gotta grow your long hair yeah grow my exactly grow the long hair um yeah any other good questions bro that's a good question um I got a few more good questions we should title this video everything you want to know about Bradley Martin yeah but we, I mean we're gonna have that many good questions okay uh, I don't know if we're gonna have that many good questions well, okay I got another one okay um what do you think has been the hardest thing in your journey of social media, internet, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter? The hardest thing? Yeah. For yourself. Like, how has it affected you personally? Balance. Finding balance. Hands down. Balance. Like, with relationships, friends, even, not even just, like, girls, things like that, but, like, um, friends and, like, family and finding balance with, like, being there enough for that, being there enough for this. Because, like, the whole social media thing is, like, you know, people work, like, a 9 to 5 and this and that. Like, social media is, like, a 24-7. Yeah. If you're really, like, trying to do it, if you're really trying to grow, you're really trying to work on it. Um, and I did that for, like, probably, like, I want to say six years. And I slowed down a little bit the last few years because, like, I was going crazy, to be yeah. honest. Like, and I don't think people understand that side of social media that, like, it's a nonstop. Like, someone could like your photo or write a comment at any time of the day. And you you, you kind of want to be there as much as you can, right? And I used to be there, like, every single comment. I used to, like too much every single tweet every single everything and, and then uh it just consumes you a little bit and it's it's good and, it, and it's bad obviously at the same time because if you're being consumed by something then there's other things that you're not there for so uh for me it's, it's balance is the hardest thing and it's still something that i have like a huge challenge with and i think people no matter what if you want to do social media or like you want to be an athlete or you want to whatever whatever your goal is you got to get consumed by it a little bit but at some times you do have to st stop and be like okay where am i at now and I, I i did a lot less of that in the beginning and i'm doing a lot more of that now and it, it's made me happier overall so just remember don't let that go in your life like uh have moments where you're able to sit back and be like i'm grateful for what i have not always trying to get more so because that's what i was trying to always trying to get more always trying to get more not like just enjoy and i still struggle with that but balance is hands down the hardest thing because it's a your balance with like you and your own personal like happiness and your own personal like clarity and then like because a lot of that even though yes it is derived like you have to do it it's derived from you and your, you alone but having other people in your life can help that out and if like you're not giving enough to a certain relationship or a certain person then it's like there's this tension as this pull and then it's like you, you can't get that as easy as you could have if you gave more to that you know so it's like okay where can you find a balance of what works for you what gets you where you want to go and what's still keeping you like sane so yeah for sure, that's the biggest challenge, without a doubt. Okay, Any so this kind of like the first question, but different. Um, I asked you that question of like, if you didn't have online, yeah. but if you didn't have online or fitness, if you didn't have like Ooh. working out, if you didn't work out, if you weren't like the guy who has big arms and you know, jump out of pools and yeah, honestly, dude, what would you, uh, who would you be? What would you do? I have no idea. Would you work a job? I've never, I've never thought of that because I remember when I was younger, I told my mom, I was like, I'm gonna do this fitness thing for real. She was like, Oh, yeah, me and your dad, we're into working out for a while. And I was like, No, I'm really gonna do this. And uh, I never had another option. If I didn't do that, like, I would just keep trying to do that. That's what I wanted to do. Like, that's what, like, I when I did it, I felt the best. So I was like, This is what I want to do. I feel good doing it. I want to figure something out. So I think if I couldn't do that, I would just keep trying to do that. And if it wasn't making me money, I would figure out a way to, like, do what I could on the side to keep doing that and keep trying to figure out a way to make it what I wanted. I don't know, there's no other, I mean, yeah, I say okay, I would try and get into acting or something like that, but like, to me, it's the same thing. It's like, okay, I mean, I didn't know social media growing up was, oh, it's gonna be like entertaining or it's gonna be this thing that I'm gonna be able to do, but, um, I knew that when I, whenever I decide on something I really want, it's like either that or nothing. So for me, it's like decide on it. And for you guys, if, if you really want something, I'm not saying go and make yourself broke and live in a car or do what you, but if you have to do that, sometimes you have to do that. And it's not like, don't feel bad about it. And, and 
you know, other people might, might have other things you won't have for a certain amount of time, but like, I think it's more important to get to where you want to get, like what's making you happy, and it is to like compete with what other people have. So like, you might, for example, let's say your goal, your dream is to like do X, right? But doing X, you don't have all the nicest cars, the nicest jewelry, the nicest whatever, the nicest, but you have enough that you need, you have enough to get by and you're happy. You can be better off than someone who has all the nicest everything and they're not happy doing what, they, what they're doing. Like if you're doing what you love, then I'm not saying it's not, not gonna be work because it's work no matter what, but like if you did something you hated and you made a bunch of money doing it, uh, I mean, it's all ultimately your choice, but I'd rather choose something to make a lot less money doing something that I know I enjoy doing and not like hate every time I have to do it, but it makes me a bunch of money, so like, fuck my life, right? Nah, I'd rather just have less and be happy. And I've learned that as I've gotten older in my life, for sure, so. More is not better always. Yeah, more is definitely not better. Um, unless it's more like streaming stuff so I can stream Fortnite at the gym, which I'm gonna start doing, which I'm lit about. But yeah, man, like, I would just do it. There's no other option, that's the whole thing. You guys should pick what you really like in your life and give yourself no other option until you know until like you're fucking certain, like because you tried everything, and I guarantee you probably haven't. And then, then maybe like okay, maybe I'll make an adjustment. But fuck it, like grind, struggle, like that's that's the kind of stuff that like eh, I mean, when I look at all like look back on my videos and stuff on YouTube, the things that like people come and talk to me about in person when they like they're like, oh man, you helped me do this, you helped me do that. Most people they don't talk about. They're like, yeah, the cool stuff you did in the gym was dope. You jumped out of the pool, it's dope. Like it's it's cool, that's inspiring. But the things most people bring up is like the mindset things, like being able to like just do what I really want to do. Cause like ultimately you're gonna be happy or chasing the things that make you happy versus like just trying to make fucking money. So like, just do that. And then someday you're gonna die. And it's like, what's the point of like, oh, you got all the money and you're dead and you were fucking miserable the whole time you were making it. It doesn't make any sense. Like, so yeah, I say just don't give no plan B. No, no, no option, no like next thing. Just say that's what I'm gonna do and do it. And then it's not gonna work and it's not gonna work and it's not gonna work and it's not gonna work. And then it's a little bit works and then that works. And you try something else and that doesn't work. You try something else and that works. And then you just keep going until like, you can make it work for you. And that's it. So, any other genius questions, dog? These are good, right? They're really good questions, yeah. Uh, sure. I got another good one. If you could spend a whole entire day with one person that's still alive in our planet, in this world, who would it be? Rock. For, the Rock? For a whole day? Whoa, wait a minute. Still alive. Nope, not still alive. Uh, Alright, fine. Not alive. Uh, not alive. Damn, there's so many. Fuck. There's a lot. I'm gonna go with the rock still. Yeah? Yeah. I'd like to I'd like to talk with that guy for sure. Yeah. Like a real conversation. Yeah, whole day. You got 24 hours, man. It's a lot. It's a lot of meal. It's, it's probably I feel like we would fly to like six different countries and do like 15 different press conferences <laughs> and sleep for 45 seconds and then work out six times and then and then also like and then have pancakes and then hang out with like 16 handicapped kids <laughs> and and then also eat giant sack of pancakes and then film two movies and then uh, do like a new uh, new series for ballers like promo yeah. and then uh, I feel like we'd also like all in 24 hours. I get a new tattoo. Yeah, dude. What do you mean? So rock. Probably. He literally does that. This, the rock, I know. I don't know, dude. That guy's amazing. Apparently, he's like six of them. I know. I think it's like the rocks. It's like a bunch of the rock. Like Dwayne is like the rock, yeah. but he has like a bunch of other rocks. And they're like, <laughs> I don't know That's what funny. their names are, bro. That's it's funny. like clone one, clone two. Damn. Clone rock clone, That's funny. clone three. I don't know. Yeah. That's, that's funny, actually. Lit, bro. Any other good questions? Um. Let's see uh, here. Every day, so ask me what I'm hitting today. I already know. Beafigure.com. What are you hitting today? Oh. What do you mean, dude? What does that say? Arm. What does that say? Day. There you go. And not arms day? Arm day, bro. Arm day. Arm you, what arm you to work out, huh? You didn't think about that, did you? Fuck you, Kevin. <laughs> I'm done with you, dog. Pro well, pro probably the bad arm. Huh? If, if I gave you a hundred... What's him, bro? A hundred million dollars. Huh? Okay. What would you do tomorrow? What do you mean? I just mean Fortnite in my gym. Yeah? Mm. Oh. 100 million. I would open up more gyms. Right away? No. So the hardest thing about opening a gym is, is yeah, I mean, yes and no. I would probably be like, go on the internet and be like, yo, I got $100 million. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. I'd be like, first off, I'd donate a lot of it. I'd donate like, 
don't know, 20 million. Yeah. I don't need all that money, 30 million. And then I'd be like, I need people who are serious about being a part of my company, Zoo Culture. Yeah. Right? Who are serious who want to like manage a gym or help run a gym. Because that's the hardest thing is like money is not hard to find or hard to get. Um, it's well, hard at a certain to make. point, it is. Yeah, it was hard certain, back in the day for you. Oh, it was so fucking hard. Yeah. But I think I, that should never be the thing that limits you guys. Like, think about this. Like, if you had a good enough idea and like it made enough sense, like I'm sure you could, you could pitch it to someone. Yeah, could, it, whatever. Like I always, I was always told by people, even when I had no money, like money's like the last thing you should think about. You should, the first thing you should think about is like, why the fuck are you doing what you're doing? Does, yeah. it, does it actually help people? Will it actually affect people? Do people really want to be a part of it? So what I would do is I go on the internet and I'd be like, yo, I'm giving some of this money away because I don't need it. Okay. Um, and then I would talk to everybody, I'd be like, yo, I need people who are serious about being a part of this because okay. I want to open up more gyms, but the hardest thing is finding people who are serious about like the culture, the, the feeling, the vibe. Like, cause I've got hit up by people who are like, here's money, here's money, but it's like, it's just money and nothing else. And I don't know the person who could be in that gym down there in Southern California and uh, San Diego and New York. Like, I don't know the person yet. I have to meet the people. So I would do like a, a search, right? Have a bunch of people and like, have them come here and like interview them or something. And then I would start the process of trying to find locations and then, you know, hit up real estate people in different locations and try figure out a way to like get more of these gyms open. It's sure. funny because I guarantee you'll get a handful of emails just from that question there. They'll be like, oh, I didn't know you were, I'm interested and I got. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's money, man. Money is great. Money's cool, but it's like money's not going to make it what it is. Like people don't come in here and be like, oh man, spending a lot of money on this place. That, that's what makes it nice. They're like, I come in here like, oh, I like the people. The people are nice. The vibe is good. Everyone's working hard. Like people seem focused. Like I can ask for a spot. That guy's not a douchebag. These people are nice. People at the front, they, it's clean. Like, so those are things people talk about. No one says like, oh man, it's really expensive equipment. Cool, bro. Like, you, you know, anyone can spend money on a fucking gym. That's the biggest difference is like, what does it feel like when you're in that gym? Do you feel motivated? Do you feel good? Like, yeah. you, are you uplifted? That, and are you friendly with people? Are people friendly with you? That's what matters. So recreating that is the most important thing. True. So if you had gave me that money, I'd do the same thing. I would just try and do it faster. That's all money would do for me. It would make it, it would make it, it would expedite something because I'd be able to be like, ah, money. But that's all. It's just fucking, that's all it is. Money is just time. At some point, it's just time. Right? When you guys right now, you're starting off your life, you're trying to get what you want. It's not. It's like the most important thing because you need it to like buy a car, to get to work. And you need to, you know, just buy food so you can eat, so you don't feel like shit. Like I know what this is like, and that's what's important then. And then, and then when you start to have, it, you realize like it's just paper that we gave value to. Um, the real value is in you. The real value is like what do you want to offer to the world, and how can you offer it, and what form is that in? And, I don't know. Do you make a fucking video game? Like there's tons of things to do. You just gotta figure out what matters to you. That's it. So I love you guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Do you have any more questions? Nah, Besides it. the fact that my my nails are too long, I need to clip these. Because I know someone's gonna bring that up. Because I know I was like at one point I was like this. All right, we're out of here, guys. I love you. Subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, turn notifications. We're out.